My chest no fucking blow up. Bitch, I make it rain, show. You did that. They want to know a thing about you. You see that. Hey guys, Asif here at 3D Crypto. Hope everyone's doing well. And today we're going to be talking about FOMO 3D Testnet 2. Uh, so in my last video, I spoke about some of the uh, changes that were going to be implemented by the uh, dev team for FOMO 3D and I done a changelog video. And obviously since then, we've all been eagerly anticipating and awaiting Testnet 2. Uh, we've all been having a look at the announcement section and the timer section. So if you have a look at the timer right now, it still shows there's four days and 14 hours and 37 minutes before testnet 2 is live um but something strange happened uh, just a few hours ago um if you go to the announcement section even though the timer is still counting down uh mansell from the dev team announced stock up on your testnet eth because testnet 2 for former 3d is now live so guys as we speak testnet 2 is now live so you can go ahead to uh, firstly, um, to access the testnet, you'll have to go um, and open your MetaMask and make sure you are on the correct um, network. So the uh, testnet for Team Just, if you get that network, um, all this information will be in the wiki below. You can claim your 10 ETH. Those are test ETH, not real ETH, as some people thought it may be a, a free gift from um, Team Just. I can assure you it is not a free gift from Team Just. Uh, once you get onto the FOMO 3D website, I will go ahead and put the links down below. The first thing to do, if you want to make the most money, is claim your name. So you will click on register a name, click click any name. You can do a random name or you can choose your own name. It costs 0.1 ETH. And then once you have a name assigned to yourself, in this one I've got um, Lattery Manso. And that basically becomes my, my referral link and also becomes my handle or my name so when I'm um, exit scamming in FOMO 3D um, I can go ahead and use my name um, guys if you have any issues um, with the actual testnet because of the transactions not going through it's a very simple fix if you go into MetaMask click on the three lines saying settings and just reset the met and click reset MetaMask that will clear all the pending transactions it doesn't affect MetaMask in any way it just clears the, um, the network so it makes everything a lot quicker so not much has changed um, in the UI. Um, we've got the same um, UI from Testnet 1. There have has been some alterations to make it a little bit more streamlined. You've got um, the ability to um, toggle URLs on and off. You've got your, um, as noted in the change log, your referral system. So you get three links now. You get a wallet referral link, an anonymous referral link, and a vanity referral link. So they all point back to the same thing. It just gives you three different options. Uh, so when you're promoting FOMO 3D, you can either be anonymous or you can either just have a nice simple vanity link um, so it's all easy for everyone to access apart from that the actual game stays the same you can go ahead and buy your keys um, you can buy anywhere from one to however many keys you have um, available in terms of ethereum to spend um, one key is the key so if we look at it now i bought some keys and i was exit scamming the contract and the whole point is to be the last person holding a key when the countdown reaches zero. So at the moment it's one minute and 24. And then every time someone buys a key or one plus keys, the timing gets reset to uh, one minute and 29 seconds. And the aim of the game is to get that timer down to zero and be the last person holding the key. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more keys now. This basically is just showing the value of the transaction and hopefully we can try winning this round. I'm not very optimistic because I know these rounds can go on for quite a while. Um, so there, there you go. I'm exit scamming. There's one minute and 26 seconds left. And if that timer was to reach zero, and if no one else bought a key, I would drain the contract and in essence would be the winner. Um, so yeah, let's see, can we get this down to zero? As I said, I'm not very optimistic. I'm pretty sure someone, yeah, there you go, someone else's exit's coming. When it shows up as someone else's exit's coming, that basically means the person who bought the key didn't register a, a referral link or a vanity name, so they didn't pay 0.1 ETH to get that vanity link. Guys, as always, as soon as you buy keys, you are earning dividends. So there I am, I'm holding 12.6 keys, and I'm gonna be earning dividends on those keys. So anytime someone else buys more keys, I will get a little cut as well depending on how many keys I hold at that time. So if I hold 12.6 keys here and someone buys 100, 
uh, keys, I will get a cut of that Ethereum. If I held 100 keys, I'd get a little bit more dividends compared. So I get a percentage. So from my 12.6 keys and the whole 92,000 keys, I will get that percentage in dividends. And while this is all happening, people in P3D are passively earning dividends as well, which is the great thing. So this is actively helping um, P3D earn passive dividends. Just for doing that, so P3D is doing nothing at the moment, but it's still earning dividends. It's the way it's set up. Obviously, you can earn more P3D dividends or less depending on which team you use. You've got Snack, Whale, Bull, and Bear. Um, I'm gonna make an in-depth video about these teams in the future and how they affect the round and how they affect the Ethereum. So in terms of um, all the Ethereum being put into the contract, um, it's going to be split between P3D dividends, FOMO 3D dividends, uh, for the next round um, pop, and also the winner. So the winner will get approximately half of all the Ethereum in, in, in the round. So in this round, um, we can see we've got about third, how much Ethereum have we got in there? So 2,252 Ethereum. So whoever wins pretty much gets half of that. Another big change that they've added to um, Testnet 2, which I really like, is they've introduced an ICO phase. So basically, in Testnet 1, when one round ended and, this, and the other round, the next round begun, there was no timer in between or nothing. It was just literally one, end, one round ends and the other one starts. Now they've added a five minute ICO phase between both rounds. That is basically simply, you can partake in the FOMO ICO. So you go ahead and you can say, look, I want to put an, one Ethereum in, into, the, um, into the ICO. And what the ICO does in that phase is it will pull together everyone's ICO Ethereum and buy keys at the cheapest possible price. And then those keys will be distributed back to everyone depending on how much Ethereum they put in. So let's say the, the ICO pot was 10 Ethereum and you put in there one Ethereum. In theory, once they buy the keys, you will get back 10% or in this case, one Ethereum's worth of keys back. So that's, that's a really good stage because the price of keys is not dictated by how many keys have been purchased. So the ICO phase just makes it a little bit easier for everyone getting in right at the beginning um, who are not looking to win the round, but just want to earn dividends. Uh, and again, it all depends. The ICO, when you buy in or when you buy any key keys, it all depends on which team you choose. So if you choose SNEC, SNEC is more geared towards giving P3D holders more dividends. If you choose whales, it's all geared towards the next round's pot being higher. If you choose um, bulls, it's more for um, FOMO 3D key holders getting more dividends. So it's, it's all, every team, there's, there's something slightly different. But the main premise is the round winner, so whoever holds the final key in a round, gets half the pot of Ethereum. And depending on which team they chose when buying that winning key, the Ethereum is split in uh, in a certain way, so P3D holders get a certain amount of dividends, F3D holders get dividends, and the next pot round um, has uh, uh, some Ethereum in there. So the ICO phase is, is really good because that basically, even before the round starts, uh, because I can see these rounds lasting quite a while, everyone will have that five minute opportunity to go ahead and just buy some keys so buy some ethereum buy some keys it's not going to let you win the round but it won't let you earn dividends um, these rounds at the moment in testnet phase are going on for quite a while i am assuming and hoping as well that when the real thing does get released people aren't going to be so frivolous with their ethereum at the moment everyone's received 10 ethereum te 10 test ethereum uh, which some people do think oh, is real ethereum it's not it is just test ethereum um, it is not your own money when you are playing with your own Ethereum, with your own money, some people might be a little bit more apprehensive about how much Ethereum they throw into the contract, which could mean rounds might end quicker and the ICO phases might be the best bet to win. Um, as always, any Ethereum you do earn or dividends you do earn, they will be in your vault. Your vault is something that can be used to either withdraw back to your MetaMask wallet or you can use the vault to reinvest in terms of buying more keys so you can buy more keys either using your metamask wallets or you can buy more keys using your vault earnings so guys this is what's going on with testnet 2 um, we have been advised uh, by the dev team that this is the last testnet so the next time formal 3d goes live 
it will be the real thing. Um, so go ahead, play with the test net as much as you can. Learn how the, the, the platform works. Learn about different strategies, um, which best suit yourself and your, your way of playing. I will put all the links down below for FOMO 3D, how to uh, get in. I will put down my link below for P3D and FOMO 3D so you can get in. Any questions, any comments, please do ask below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. It does look a bit daunting getting into FOMO 3D initially because it's uh, a lot of information, a lot of um, uh, new words. There is a tutorial um, toggle that you can turn on and off. If you turn it on, you'll get little question marks next to each of these um, boxes. So the key ring, the round boxes, the team boxes, and it does explain a little bit more. There is also a little thing up there saying wiki next to the play button. If you press wiki, you will get a nice detailed breakdown exactly how the contract and how the game is to be played. The good thing is there are translations for this Wikipedia happening right now. So people are translating the whole wiki just to make it easier. So if English isn't your native language, you can still go ahead and read the rules of the game and the, the mechanics of the game. So guys, I'm going to actively go ahead and continue playing FOMO 3D uh, testnet for as long as I can and try winning a round. Um, at the moment, because it's still the new testnet, a lot of these rounds are lasting a lot longer. They're lasting a few hours at a time. Um, sometimes the rounds end quicker. Sometimes they take longer. It all just depends on what the price of ETH goes to per key and how much Ethereum, test Ethereum you have left in your wallet. Um, at the moment, everyone is uh, limited to 10 test Ethereum per 24 hours. Um, so it's a bit more for realistic testnet compared to testnet one where everyone had 100 Ethereum and people were throwing in crazy numbers of Ethereum at a time. This way, people are, it's a bit more realistic. So guys, that's the, that's the, that's the, the mi mission of the game at the moment is to be the exit scanner. So as you see down here, it says, look, I've bought a key. And if no one else buys a key, I will drain the contract and I will, in theory, well, not in theory, I will be the winner. I will get half of the 2,261 Ethereum and the key I, the team I chose when I bought the key, the rest of Ethereum will be distributed um, to the P3D holders, the FOMO 3D key holders, and uh, a portion of it goes to the next um, rounds pot. So we put down to 56 seconds now and I'm still the, I am still the, the key holder. So let's see how far I can go down hopefully that line will go all the way purple and no one else will buy in and um, I will earn a nice amount of ethereum but as I said I'm not holding my breath I think someone yeah you go right there so human from earth he is now the key holder and he's going to go ahead and um, um, finish the round out or someone else will finish the round out guys if you've got any um, feedback about the testnet any bugs you find or anything best thing is jump onto the p3d discord channel go to the F3D feedback and you can go there. All the links will be there, the FOMO 3D guide, the testnet guide, um, how to get testnet, Ethereum, how to play the game, all the stats, there. all the links are there. Anything that you find in terms of Easter eggs or, or feedback or anything like that, put it in the P3D Discord. The dev team has released this testnet exactly for this reason, to find any bugs in the contract or any, in the UI, anything that you think can be improved the dev team want to improve and make the whole process and the whole mechanics of the game as smooth as possible and as good as possible so guys former 3d it's it's here um testnet 2 is here uh, ignore the countdown timer it's throwing up some random numbers but from what we can tell the testnet has nothing to do with the launch of um, the testnet so guys, if you've got any questions, any comments, please do leave them down below. If you've got any questions or comments regarding anything that I post up on YouTube, please do leave comments in the video below or hit me up on any of my social medias. Please do subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. Any new information regarding FOMO 3D or the actual mainnet going live, I will post it up. And um, if you've got any questions regarding FOMO 3D, please do let me know. Please do ask. I will do my best to answer the questions. Also, if you guys have any questions that you want to get answered in real time, jump into the P3D Discord chat. If I don't answer your questions personally, I know there's a lot of helpful people on the chat and they will be more than, more than willing to help you guys out. Right, guys, so I'm going to try buying some more keys and see if I can win this round. As I said, I'm not optimistic, but um, it's a good learning, uh, a good learning curve. 
Sometimes the site does get a bit buggy. Best thing to do is just reload the site and it will come up with all the latest statistics. So guys, as it stands, I am currently exit scamming. Um, guys, as I always say, you work hard for your money, make your money work hard for you. Any questions, any comments, please drop them down below or contact me on any of my social media links. I will leave all the links to FOMO 3D and P3D down below. If you've got any questions, any comments, please do let me know. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Guys, FOMO 3D Testnet 2 is here. Um, I'll hopefully win this round. Um, and if I do, I'll make another video showing you that I won this round. But as I said, I'm not very optimistic. So guys, uh, until next time, take care.